Daily Mass Readings and Reflection May 14, 2023 Sixth Sunday of Easter First Reading Acts Chapter 8 Verses 5 to 8, 14 to 17 Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Responsorial Psalm Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Second Reading 1 Peter chapter 3 Verses 15 to 18 Beloved Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that, when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. Gospel John chapter 14 verse 15 to 21 the advocate jesus said to his disciples if you love me you will keep my commandments and i will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to be with you always the spirit of truth which the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows it but you know it because it remains with you, and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him. And reveal myself to him. Reflection. Love received, love shared. Pope Benedict XVI's a first encyclical letter Deus Caritas est, God is love points to the heart and reason for every reality. Love which gives us the primal image of God dot and the resulting image of mankind and its destiny. The Pope invites us to see things from the perspective of, in the beginning where we have started. There may be different perspectives, but the heart of divine revelation and of the Christian message is one and the same. Love, the love of God gratuitously given to us, and the love directed to human beings in response to that love. This is emphasized in the Gospel of John, especially in Jesus' discourse in the Last Supper, of which today's Gospel reading is a part. 
In this very intimate moment, Jesus gives his commandment, which will indelibly mark the disciples as his very own. Love one another, as I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. The Synoptic Gospels also emphasize the centrality of love. Upon being asked, Which is the first and greatest of all the commandments? Jesus replies, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Mark chapter 12 verses 30 to 31 or matthew chapter 19 verse 19 or luke chapter 10 verses 26 to 27 john however gives another measure for the love of neighbor the love of jesus and jesus loves his own to the very end humbling himself to wash the feet of his disciples and dying on the cross. Hence, the measure of love is to love without measure. Quoted by Saint Francis de Sales. In giving his commandment of love, Jesus promises a gift, which will make this loving possible. The Holy Spirit who will act as comforter, guide, teacher, and defender. Love, ultimately, is the work of the Trinity. The Father shows his love by sending his Son Jesus. The Spirit will teach and remind the disciples of the sacrificing love of Christ and empower them to respond to that pure and gratuitous love by loving one another as Christ has loved them. Hence, the love received by Christ from the Father becomes the spirit-driven love shared to others.